Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy On Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In today's video, I am going to talk about AJAX integration with the Spring MVC framework and I am going to use jQuery library for this. So let's download the jQuery library first. Go to the website jQuery.com. Here we can download. You can take any latest release available here and uh, we prefer to go with the compressed version. So this is the compressed version. It's a min version of the library. So download this 3.2.1. I have got this library here jQuery and so in folder. Okay, this is what the library I'm going to use. Copy this and now take this to your project here is my project you have to copy this inside this static area inside the static folder and just paste here okay I got this now we required a page where we'll integrate this jQuery where we'll access this jQuery library so we need to create one sample page here for testing so go to the controller and we have one testing controller here right so I can use this testing controller for integration of this Ajax through jQuery so do one thing add one mapping here just copy this and this is test page and this is the page I am going to add here test and this will be your test page I should call it what should be the URL so this is ajax underscore test okay now we require a page here which is a JSP page we required a test JSP here so create one JSP in this view area so just create this okay okay this is the sample page we have got here and now let me access this page so I'm going to change this Ajax test page just try this let me try to call this page here using this URL type this just a moment okay okay I could see this page here Ajax test page and now I will add here jQuery and some events I need to add here so I have to add here this script and uh, you need to pass here this SRC so this will be your spring URL I can you I need to use here a spring tag lib URI and this is not form this is the tag okay prefix spring s and s colon let me close this in fact you can create a URL here that will be a better way s colon this is URL tag just a moment close this As the value is path of this file so this is the path is slash static slash JS and this is dot JS file and the variable is URL this is JQ lib it's a jQuery 
library I'm using here this path is correct static slash js slash the file name this is static js and this is the file name okay and now pass it here fine it's done the integration is done now let me test this does it integrate it properly just check through this small script let me test through this is document dot ready and I will call a function when this event is fired okay and this is the anonymous function will be called here when the page is ready to display so I'm going to display this alert and type here jQuery is is ready and integrated okay fine let's refresh the page can we see this page here can we see some alert here no we are getting nothing let me try to run this project might be some error or might be it is not taking my updates and what is the URL for this page this is test I'm going to write here no there is no error in fact we are not getting the alert message so you can check the error from you can check the error if available go to inspect element and uh, look at here this is one something wrong here one error you can see here and you can check the exact error from the console okay unexpected token okay we made some mistake in I think this document this is ready we have closed this and this is extra bracket we have used okay fine not a big deal we have got this we fix the problem and now you can see this page look at this jQuery is ready and integrated successfully here right so this part is ready now once jQuery is ready it's time to integrate the Ajax so Ajax is basically a technology which is a combined version of multiple things which is including the server side script and JavaScript and some uh, data format like XML or JSON so it's a combination of uh, multiple technologies it's a very popular thing for uh, developing rich user interfaces for developing rich web pages as well as it is improving performance and now it's time to come to the next part of this scenario so I'm going to add here one button this is the button I'm going to add here this is button and let me write here the ID of this button is this is ID underscore this is hello button or you can say some server time for testing purpose it's a get time so this button when you click on this button will get the server time so and the time uh, click here or you can say here get server time and whatever the time written by server without refreshing the page I will get the detail from server which is the time and I will print that time here in this paragraph so this paragraph will display the time and let me give the ID this is ID and this ID is time the result will be displayed in this paragraph right it's a placeholder it's a place where result will be copied which is retrieved from the server now let me register a event here I'm going to comment this because it is working fine it's time to register one event to this button 
so this id i am going to refer here so this is the dollar this dollar represents jquery object and i'm going to select here this i'm going to select this button and now add one event here click and now when some when you click on this get time button a function will be called here this is an anonymous function right let me try this also alert try this this is button clicked this should be printed it's not complete but we can test side by side refresh the page we have got a button here get server time when you click on this you have got an event here button clicked it's fine now let me comment this also because I have to generate a Ajax call here and uh, I'm going to add one method in controller so this is my controller here I'm going to add one method which is get server time get server time and the URL is this is your get time this is the URL I'm going to use so when you request get time you will get the server time so the server time is I'm going to just create a date object here date D and new date it's a utility package I'm using here so date and now print this date dot to string okay the date will be returned here but the important thing is generally this return value is your view name but here we are not uh, this date will not be your view so what I'm going to do here the value returned by this method will be directly wrote in output stream instead of finding view instead of finding any JSP page so generally this return value is a JSP as per the spring MVC standard but I want this value to be directly wrote in, in output stream so write here a small tag response body so this response body will write the output directly in your output stream in fact you can independently test this let me show you this can you get the time here in fact one SOP I am writing here so this is my get server time method okay now try this URL just a minute can you see some time here yes this is the time written by the server in fact when you request this you will get updated time this is three seconds six seconds so time is updated here right so this is a page I am independently calling from the browser but in case of Ajax this is not the case we will call through the internal will generate an internal call for this so I'm going to use my this page and this button will call to this particular method right so now come back here and uh, complete this part this button click event so here I'm going to use Ajax so dollar dot you can call a function here this is dollar dot Ajax you can use this is dollar dot Ajax function I'm using here close this and now write down here multiple values so you can write here parameters so this format is actually a JSON format it is taking as input so I'm going to write here multiple things so this is the URL I'm going to call here the URL is nothing but your controller URL so this is the URL we are going to access here test get time so you can use this relative URL get time this is your first value and the second value is success success is nothing but a callback when result is given by the server that will be received here a function will be called here and this function will receive the data 
so this is the result you will get here this is data written by the server so when response is received the success will be called and the result written by this method the result written by this method which is nothing but your date time and that will be received in data and you can you have to print that data in this area so how we can do this just a minute you need to get the object for this paragraph and push that data so do one thing this is dollar and uh, I need to select this it's a paragraph this is my paragraph ID time and I'm going to use one method here and this data will be pushed to this paragraph so this paragraph will receive the data when you click on the button right now try this this is the page you have to refresh this and get time from server yes this is the time we have got from the server without refreshing the whole page so partially you can get some detail from server and update on your page look at this without refreshing the page I'm able to get the updated value from server so 10 seconds 13 seconds in fact you can try one more thing here just a minute let me minimize the page here just a minute go to this server console I wrote here a small SOP just clear this console and now check this when you click on this look at this SOP printed here because one call is generated internally in server a method is called in controller and we have got a recent time from server which is printed on your paragraph so this is the way you can partially get the detail from server and update on the page it's a very effective technique and Ajax is improving performance of your web page it will reduce your a uh, lot of uh, it will improve the resource consumption and improve overall performance of the web page as well as uh, you can design rich user interfaces user friendly interfaces without moving to multiple pages uh, for each action so on page you can do so many things with the help of Ajax in fact you can read more about the Ajax from the web or you can refer my other videos so I think this is enough for uh, Ajax integration with Spring so thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates thank you very much